guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video talking about my top 15 favorite movies and this was actually requested a lot by you guys so I've been spending quite the while compiling my list of my top 15 favorite movies Obviously, I have more favorites than 15, but I've spent the time and effort into making sure that these top 15 are worthy of being in my top 15. So I'm going to go through all of them and tell you guys a little bit about them. Maybe you've heard of some of them, maybe you haven't, maybe they're one of your favorites, maybe they're soon to be one of your favorites after you watch this video and you go out and watch one of them. I'm going to try my best to go through all of them pretty fast because there is 15 and if I spend like one minute talking about each one that's already a 15 minute video. So I'm going to try my best to kind of keep the talking minimal. Some of them I have a DVD case for and some I don't. So I'm going to start with the ones that I don't have a DVD case for and then move on to the ones I do. So enough rambling, I'm just going to get started. My first favorite movie is one that I'm sure every single one of you has heard of, and that is The Breakfast Club, directed by John Hughes, starring Emilio Estevez, Judd Nelson, Anthony Michael Hall, Ali Sheedy, and Molly Ringwald. And it came out in 1985, and it is one of my all-time favorite movies ever. It's basically in my top three favorite movies ever. The first time I watched this movie, I was eight years old, and it's been my favorite, like, ever since, honestly. I watch it all of the time. It's amazing. It's such a quality movie and it's just moving. If you haven't heard of the movie, it's basically about these five teenagers that get a Saturday detention and they're all from very different social groups in their high school and they all come together on this Saturday detention and they kind of bond over it and lots of stuff happens in this one day. The whole movie takes place over just the Saturday detention but it's really intense and funny too and it's just a really really good movie. It's a moving movie and um, it's one that I think everybody should see so yes definitely check out The Breakfast Club if you have in which, you know, I'm sure all of you have. My next favorite movie is Stuck in Love, directed by Josh Boone, and this came out in 2012. This movie is starring Lily Collins, Nat Wolf, and Greg Kinnear. I absolutely love this movie. You guys know I'm a huge Nat Wolf fan, so when this movie first came out in 2012, I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch it just because Nat Wolf's this in it. This movie is about our three characters that are in a family, and they're a family of writers, and they're all kind of going through a different type of love struggle, and it kind of just shows their progression over the whole movie about them and their relationships and everything like that and it's kind of hard to explain but it's such a good indie film. It's directed by the same person that directed The Fault in Our Stars and it's just such a good movie and I've watched it so many times. Literally I recommend this movie to everyone. I'm like come watch Stuck in Love with me. It's so good and everybody that watches it has really liked it so if you have not watched it yet go check it out because it is so good. I, I love it. It's one of my all-time favorites. My next favorite movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off again directed by John Hughes. A lot of my favorite movies are directed by John Hughes. He is my favorite director. This this movie came out in 1986, I believe, and it is starring Matthew Broderick. Um, this is a really funny movie about this kid, Ferris Bueller, who skips school for the day so he can have a day off hence the title Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And he's just crazy and he's a prankster and a lot of stuff happens during this day. He's trying to avoid his principal who's kind of catching on to him skipping school every so often. And he's just kind of a trickster and it's just a really funny movie. He goes off with two of his friends and they kind of just go gallivanting all over the city for the day on their day off and it's a really funny movie and I just really love it. So those are all of the movies that I didn't have a case for, but starting with the ones I do have a case for, the first one I have here is The Perks of Being a Wallflower, starring Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, and Ezra Miller. This came out in 2012, and it is directed by Stephen Chbosky. And since you guys are on my channel, I'm sure you guys are readers of books, and you probably know, The Perks of Being a Wallflower is actually a novel by Stephen Chbosky that came out in the 90s, I want to say. And this movie was made in 2012, as I said, and it's a really great book to movie adaptation in my opinion. I absolutely love the book and I love the movie for different reasons. I think they're very different to be honest which I think is very interesting considering that Steven Chbosky also directed the film and he decided to make some sort of artistic you know choices in changing it a little bit but um, I do believe that it's different than the book but I love both of them so much and this is definitely one of my all-time favorite movies and if anything it's probably my favorite book to movie adaptation ever. My next favorite movie is a very typical one and that is Mean Girls starring whoever but Lindsay Lohan. This movie came out in 2004 and it's directed by Mark Waters. It's funny here it says it's starring Lindsay Lohan and Tina Fey which is funny but Tina Fey is like a writer of the movie so I guess that's why they put her there but this movie is a classic of teenage girls. Everybody loves this movie and I know everybody's always like, Mean Girls, it's my favorite movie, it's so funny. I'm not kidding when I say I've watched this movie over 40 times. Like, it has to be over 40 times. I've literally watched this movie so many times and when people are like, I'm a huge Mean Girls fan, I'm like, no. 
I'm a huge Mean Girls fan because I've watched this movie so many times. I can quote it from the beginning to the end. Me and my brother, my 19-year-old brother, we watch this movie all the time and we both think it's the funniest thing. We love Lindsay Lohan's old movies. We watch um, this one in Parent Trap, which is one of my favorite movies, but it's not in this list, but I love that one. We just love her old movies, and this is such a good movie. It's so funny, it's so timeless, and it's just, I'll never stop watching it. It's just hilarious. So yes, love Mean Girls. My next favorite movie is 10 Things I Hate About You, directed by Gil Junger, coming out in 1999, starring Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger, rest in peace. I absolutely love this movie. It's one of my all-time, all-time favorites, which all of these are, obviously, but, like, again, in, like, my top five. I absolutely love this movie. I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to think of how to explain this to you, so I'm just gonna quickly read you guys the back to see if this gives you guys a gist if you've not heard of this movie. But it says, new kid in school Cameron is smitten with the beautiful Bianca. The problem is that Bianca isn't allowed to date unless her surly older sister Kat does. Cameron's only hope is to enlist the help of Patrick, the school troublemaker with a reputation as nasty as Kat's. Sorry, that sounded weird when I was speaking. Yeah, I hope that gave you a little bit of a gist about what this is about. Just go watch it. It's such a good movie. You don't need to know a lot going into it, but it's amazing, so just go watch My it. My next favorite movie is School of Rock, directed by Richard Linkiator, um, coming out in 2004, starring Jack Black. I absolutely love this movie. It's about this rock and roll guy who gets kicked out of his band and becomes a substitute teacher at a school for young kids, and he enlists them all in a band and puts them in this competition behind the school's back. And if you have not seen this movie, it is so funny, and if you like music, you'll really enjoy it, because there's lots of music in this movie. And it's just so funny like think about you having a permanent sub for the year and he puts your whole class in like a band to enter a competition like it's so funny and it's just such a great movie and Jack Black is so hilarious and I love this one but yeah check it out if you haven't watched it yet because it's a real good one my next favorite movie is Endless Love directed by Shayna Festi and this came out in 2013 this movie stars Alex Pettifer and Gabriella Wilde and this is actually a remake of the movie Endless Love that I believe came out in the 80s which I've not seen that this movie follows a girl who was very uninvolved in her whole high school career and now she's finally graduating and she doesn't really have any lifelong friends from high school she hasn't really gone to any parties but she's very smart and she's gonna be going into medical school but this boy here has a big crush on her and finally on the day they graduate he confesses it to her basically and then they start hanging out during the summer and he's kind of a bad boy and she's kind of a good girl and it's just a really entertaining romantic chick flick type of movie and I'm not the type to usually be into like full-on chick flicks but I love this movie I love it so much when this movie came out I actually made a makeup tutorial for Miss Gabriella Wilde it's still on my channel to this day if any of you guys are interested um, I used to make makeup videos as most of you know and I did make a makeup tutorial for her and it's still on my channel so go watch it if you want but yes I love this movie it's just like a romantic comedy type movie it's really great just go watch it you know my next favorite movie is 13 directed by Katherine Hardwick coming out in 2003 and this is starring Holly Hunter, Evan Rachel Wood, and Nikki Reed, which I just read off the top because the only person I really knew was Nikki Reed. Um, this follows a young girl who's 13 years old and she's always been, you know, an obedient little girl and then she meets this other girl who's kind of like old for her age. She's got a lot of piercings and she hangs out with boys and she kind of introduces her into her type of lifestyle and this young girl kind of goes insane and it's a really great movie to watch. Um, I watched this when I was like 14 years old and it really stuck with me ever since and I've really loved this, this movie. This movie is actually co-written by Nikki Reed and she also stars in it. She plays the girl that kind of negatively influences the more innocent one but Nikki says that in her life she was the more innocent one that got influenced but she didn't want to play herself so she played the other girl but it is based off of her which I think is amazing and it's a really great movie. I really recommend it to anybody. It's kind of dark, it's kind of intense but it's a really good one and I think it's definitely worth the watch. My next favorite movie is John Tucker Must Die, directed by Betty Thomas, coming out in 2006. This is starring a bunch of people that I don't really know, except for Brittany Snow, because she's in a ton of stuff. But this is a really funny movie about this guy named John Tucker, who's kind of a player, and he's dating three girls at once. So these three girls get this one girl who's kind of innocent, doesn't really do a lot of stuff, and she's kind of the outcast of her high school. They get her to start dating him so that they can play tricks on him and kind of sabotage him or whatever. And it's a really funny movie about revenge. I think this is like a really funny movie and I love the whole like girls ganging up on this guy it's so funny it's a really funny movie that's really all I can tell you about it because there's not much else that's it's basically what I told you but it's a really funny movie if you haven't checked it out yet definitely watch it it's 
It's hilarious. My next favorite movie is Secret Admirer, directed by David Greenwald, coming out in 1985. This is starring C. Thomas Howell, Lori Loughlin, and Kelly Preston. And it's such a good movie. It's basically about this young guy, and somebody writes him a secret love note, confessing their love to him, and he thinks it's this Kelly Preston girl, when in reality, it's not, and everybody knows it's not, and the letter kind of gets drifted to a bunch of other people, like their parents, who think that they got the letter written to them, and everybody thinks that this letter was written to them by somebody else, and it gets so crazy, so basically there's a love note, and it gets passed around, and everybody thinks it's from somebody, and it's just really insane, and it's really funny, and I got this movie originally because I went through a really hardcore C. Thomas Howell obsession when I read The Outsiders and watched The Outsiders movie in eighth grade, so I basically just bought all of C. Thomas Howell's movies and I bought this one and I really loved it. It has um, Lori Laughlin who is in Full House if you know obviously she plays Aunt Becky and there's an episode of Full House actually based off this episode. I think the episode's called Secret Admirer and it's based off this movie so if you remember an episode where there's like a love note that's the episode that's based off this movie. A lot of people don't know that but yes this is a really great movie. I love it. It's one of my like top five favorites and it's really funny and good. It's not one of those more well-known movies so definitely check it out if you haven't heard of it yet. My next favorite movie is Green directed by Randall Kleiser coming out in 1977. This is one of my all-time favorite movies and it's my favorite musical. I was obsessed with this movie when I was about four years old. I used to watch this movie. Um, I've been watching this movie since I was literally that old and it's been my favorite forever. It was my favorite movie when I was in like fifth grade. I used to watch it every single day and I still watch it all the time. It's one of my all-time favorites. Oh and by the way it's starring Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. I didn't really say that but I'm sure everybody knows. Everybody's seen this movie. Like honestly I don't have to tell you anything about it because everybody's seen it but it is one of my favorites so I had to include okay, it. Okay my next one is 13 Going on 30 directed by Gary Winnick coming out in 2004 starring Jennifer Gardner and Mark Ruffalo. This movie is my everything. <laughs> um, I spent so much time watching this movie when I was younger. I watched it when it originally came out when I was like super small like I was like seven years old or something when this came out. So I watched it originally then but then when I was about like 13 years old which oddly enough 13 um, I started re-watching this movie and it became everything to me and I can honestly say there was a six month period in my life where I watched this movie every single day and I'm not lying to you when I say that I've seen this movie over 150 times because I can guarantee you I have. I've seen this movie so many times <laughs> it's ridiculous like it's honestly insane um, how many times I've watched this movie. I watch it with everybody. I used to watch it by myself daily when I was in like ninth or eighth grade. Um, I am obsessed with this movie. I still am. It's still one of my all-time favorites in my top three. It's about a 13 year old girl who kind of isn't really getting what she wants out of her young middle school life. Her 13th birthday, she wishes that she could be 30. She wakes up the next day. Look at that, she's 30. Life isn't really what she thought it was going to be like now that she's 30. And she starts to realize that this isn't how she wanted to grow up to be. And she wants to kind of turn herself around when she's 30. And it's a really great rom-com coming of age story. It's really funny and cute and sweet. And it's just so good. And if you have not seen this movie, which I'm sure you have, it's pretty popular, go watch it. It's on Netflix, I'm pretty sure. A lot of these movies are on Netflix. I didn't really tell you which ones were and which weren't, but a lot of them are, so check Netflix. Yeah, this is really and good. And my last, most all-time favorite movie is When Harry Met Sally, directed by Rob Reiner, coming out in 1986, starring Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. And this is a movie about two best friends that basically fall in love over the course of their lifetime. They meet when they're like 20 years old, and every like five years or so they meet again, and then they finally become friends. And eventually they realize that they're meant to be together, Everybody knows of this story, even if you've just heard somebody say like, oh, when Harry met Sally, but you have no idea what they're talking about. I feel like everybody has once upon a time heard of this movie, but not everybody has seen it. And I don't think it gets the complete recognition that it actually deserves because it's such a cute, fun movie and it's so good and I love it so dearly. It's, um, it's one of my favorites, guys. It's literally in my top three and I can't get enough of this. I really can't. I think it's like one of the most renowned rom-coms that there is. Like everybody knows about it. Just go watch it. If you haven't watched it yet, just go find it online. It's on there somewhere. But it's such a good movie and I love it and I love Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal in this movie. They have such good on-screen chemistry and I just love it. I, I just I just love it. Okay, I do. So those are my top 15 favorite movies of all time. I definitely have more. You know, I watch a ton of movies so I, I have more than this and you know, maybe once upon a time in a couple years or something, if I'm still doing videos, I will tell you guys more of my favorite movies. But for now, I would love it if you 
you guys could comment below some of your favorite movies so I can tell you if I've seen them, if I liked them, if I hated them, or if I haven't seen them, maybe I'll watch some of your recommendations and they will become a new favorite of mine. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also, if you guys want to see a top TV show video for me, you know, I think that would be a pretty fun one. So if you guys are interested in that at all, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely get around to it if enough of you want me to. But yes, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.